Let us now learn the construction and working of photoemissive cells. This cell consists of a glass or quartz bulb whose internal surface is coated with an alkali metal. This layer acts as the cathode, but a small portion is to be left uncoated to allow the light into the bulb or is a thin metal ring and will not obstruct the light striking the coating and the ring or acts as the anode. A potential is applied between the cathode C and the ring or which is the anode. Light of frequency greater than the threshold frequency is made to be incident on the metal coating layer. The coating layer emits photoelectrons and the anode ring R collects these photoelectrons developing current in the external circuit which can be read with the ammeter in the circuit. As the incident light is producing the electric current these cells can be made to act as switches. The photoemissive cells again are of two types. Vacuum photoemissive cell, gas filled photoemissive cell. The bulb is evacuated in vacuum type photoemissive cells. In these cells, the current flows the moment light is incident and the current is proportional to the intensity of the incident light. The current output will be of the order of micro amperes. These cells are used for photometry as well as in televisions. In the gas filled type photoemissive cells, the bulb is filled with an inert gas. Due to the ionization of the gas, the current output will be more than that in vacuum type photoemissive cells and the current is not proportional to the intensity of light. These cells are used in cinematography and in the recording and reproduction of sound.